Why is my hard drive not showing in Windows File Explorer? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com where I've been answering questions like this one since 2003. Here's the question. Is there a limit on the number of hardware units I can attach to my PC? Windows seems not to recognize all the drives. How can I troubleshoot this problem? Windows tells me the drive I want to attach using add hardware is functioning properly, but when I explore, the hardware is not listed as attached and therefore is not accessible. What gives? Well, to be clear, I'm sure that there's a limit to the number of things you can attach to Windows. I just don't know what it is. Uh, what I can tell you is that it's probably very, very, very big and probably a more pragmatic limit will be things like the number of hardware connections you actually have or the resulting speed of everything being connected at once. Bottom line here is I really don't think that's at play here. I think that you're facing a much more common issue that people run into actually all the time. What happens is that you attach, say, an external hard drive or a thumb drive or a whatever external hard disk mass storage kind of device, and it doesn't show up in Windows File Explorer. You hear the little, you know, USB, I've connected a device sound, but it doesn't show up. You can't access it. There's actually a pretty simple solution to that in the most common case. Let's flip over to Windows and I'll show you what I mean. The first thing we'll do is fire up Windows File Explorer. Now, I have actually inserted a 15 gigabyte uh, external hard drive. It's a little thumb drive that's sitting plugged in in front of me. And you'll notice that it's not showing here. Uh, it's the scenario that the your question actually covers. You've attached a drive and it's not showing up in Windows File Explorer. I've got different drives here. I've got my local drive C and some other drive called G, a very small one, but I don't have the drive that I've attached. So the very first step in even diagnosing any possible problem is then to right click on the start menu and click on disk management. Disk management will come up and show you all of the disks that Windows is aware of. And you'll see, sure enough, here it is, that 15 gigabyte drive. The catch, if you want to call it that, is that it has no drive letter assigned to it. It's attached, it's working properly, but it is simply inaccessible only because it doesn't have a drive letter. Well, fortunately, that's a really easy thing to fix. I'm going to right click on that drive, click on change drive letter and paths, and we will add a drive letter. Now it will suggest a drive letter. It's basically the first alphabetical letter that is available that's not currently in use by something else. But of course you can drop down that list and change it to be whatever you would like. Uh, let's go ahead and assign it the drive letter L just for fun. You can ignore the mount the following empty NTFS folder. That's a pretty advanced technique. But for the moment, we're just going to assign it the drive letter L. We'll click on OK you can see that it now shows up. It actually acts like a drive that has just been inserted. And now if we go over to Windows File Explorer, you'll see sure enough, there is the 15 gigabyte drive. It's currently empty, but it's at least attached to the system. So while that doesn't cover absolutely every scenario of a drive not appearing, it is one of the more common ones. And because the fix is so incredibly easy, wanted to give that to you. Hope that helps. As always, if you're interested in the article that this video was based on that you can read and see the images of and maybe go into a little bit more detail, leave a comment, get any updates. That's askleo.com slash 4434. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Thanks for watching.